Hello people of YouTube and hello people of booktube. Megan here and time for a new type of video. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for ages now but haven't been able to do because financial reasons. Um, once or twice a month I want to try and do like a small business Saturday sort of deal. Like once or twice a month get a few things from a small business be it a Etsy store, an online shop, or a brick and mortar store. Most likely gonna be online shops for a while because COVID and I want to be safe and smart and not put anyone in danger. But yeah, get a few things from a shop and just kind of show off the product, talk about it, give my opinions, what have you. Not exactly a review, but just kind of a little something to bring awareness because during these crazy, crazy times, supporting small businesses is super important. Always like supporting small businesses when I can, even before COVID. But I feel it is more important than ever to do that now. And also I just want to say, this is going to be a series that's going to be more on my non-bookish channel. For those who don't know, I have two channels. One where I talk about bookish content, book reviews, book talks, tags, what have you. And another where I have non-bookish content. These types of videos are typically going to be on the non-bookish content one. I am just putting this on my booktube one this week because... This is, these are book themed items. Anytime I have book themed items that I'm showing off, the video is going to be going on both my channels. So for anyone who is interested in bookish content, my booktube channel is going to be down below. And anyone who is interested in non-bookish content, that channel will also be down below. Yeah, just, just in case if anyone's interested. Okay, that felt a little more long-winded than I intended, but here we are. So for this first exciting video, I purchased a few things from a shop on Etsy called Southern Novel Scents. Like I mentioned before, they have bookish related candles and wax melts, specifically A Court of Thorns and Roses theme scents, and I believe the other series was The Black Dagger Brotherhood. But yeah, time to open this up and check everything out. And I really wish I had a second camera for this. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to see how this goes. So I have not opened this up yet, just cracked it open to make opening it on camera easier. I'm really hoping you guys can see. I did not plan this part out well at all, so let's open her up. So, I'm going to get my glasses so I can actually read shit. So I got a cute little sticker here with some very, very nice tissue paper. So we got this really cute little thank you note here, which little things like this just make me happy. I don't know if it's just because I'm a person who likes the little things in life, but we got those. Also got this little uh, candle care tips, which useful. Honestly, I did not know you were supposed to trim the wicks on candles before you burn them until recently. I'm 29 years old and I did not know that until recently. And after reading that, I just noticed this little wax melt thing as well. So, let's see. I like how the little filler here matches the tissue paper. So we got one of the candles here. Let's see. With more of little stuff here. Little filler. So the first candle we got here is High Lady. And it is Lavender, Jasmine, and Orange Blossom scented. And just... Yeah. Ooh, and there's glitter. I actually didn't know there was glitter. I like that. And it smells amazing. Very floral. I do like floral scents. Like, I, I love all candles. I, I just love candles, so... I'm not too picky about scents. I go through all the candles before I go through the wax melts. I do like how this was, like, presented. I should have said that before I started to ruin it. And I also like how... They threw in the packing peanuts on top of this. So you got the extra, like, safety with delivery, as well as a nice aesthetic opening of the box. So, and next, I got Lucian. Lucian? Lucian? I always stumble over his name. I thought I was saying it right before. I found out that I probably wasn't saying it right, because I'm an idiot. Anyway, so anyway, this is Apple Spices Fire in Pecan Wood. Pecan, pecan, whatever. Which, 
I have no idea how this is going to smell. It sounds like a very interesting combination. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Not quite what I was imagining, but, you know, I dig it. Also got that nice little, like, metallic look there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but... There's that little, like, swirl of sparkle metallic look right here, and it looks pretty cool. This is one scent that I was probably looking forward to the most. It is Autumn Corn. It is Apple, Warm Spices, and Vanilla. I just, I love anything like apple and cinnamon -y scented. They are, it's like one of my favorite candle scents. And, ooh, it's got some glitter going on in here. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. I love the color, I love the scent. This, this one might be my favorite. Like, I love my fall scents, but the vanilla just makes it different enough that it's interesting and it doesn't blend in and like mimic my other like apple cinnamon like fall like themed candles that much so i also got a couple wax melts i got a cassian wax melt and this is a long scent so i'm sorry i'm turning it so i can read it it is bergamot dark moss cedar amber and dark musk so Let's see if I can figure out how to open this without breaking it. And once again, we got some glitter sparkle going in here. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, I I dig that. I dig that. It kind of reminds me of kind of like an Old Spice scent, which I love. I love Old Spice in most of their scents. And finally, we got Spy Master, which is... Oak moss, lavender, leather, and sea salt. Yes. <laughs> I'm also excited for this one. Once again, we got some sparkle action going here. Oh, I like that. That's like a really nice, clean smell. Once again, kind of reminds me of Old Spice, which I have no complaints over because I love me my Old Spice. Legit, make sure my, I make sure my boyfriend has Old Spice scented body wash and deodorant just because it's like, yes, this smells fantastic. Here you go. And also, I just noticed after everything is out, there is some beauties in here. Looks like we got some Jolly Ranchers, got some mints, and Andes. I have not had Andes candy in literally forever. Make sure I'm not going to throw anything else out accidentally. So yeah. Like, like I said before, I do like little things, so I think it's, while it's not necessary, it is cute when shops throw in, like, little extras like this. You know, just the little things in life. So, yeah, that is my little unboxing. I am so excited to start to use these candles and these wax melts. I typically do prefer candles to wax melts, but I figured get a little bit of both just to have a little more variety, give a little more of an opinion. So, that is my unboxing. I am going to try to do a little week jump from now. Give me a week to, you know, try out the candles, try out the wax melts, give my opinion, see how well the scents hold up while burning, while melting. Hopefully I'm not super dumb and remember to get some footage of the burning and the melting. So, see you in a week.
Alright, so back for an update. So, we are back with the Southern Novel Sense update. So I just want to say, yeah, the picture quality on this may be different because I am using my new camera and I am giddy over it and yeah, that's why things may look a little different. But yeah, it's been a while. I have used more of the candles and wax melts and I just gotta say, I love these candles and I love these scents. Just the wax melts, when they melt, they look so pretty. Like, honestly, whenever I melt Spy Master, I just am mesmerized by how pretty the wax looks. And I gotta say, my favorite scents out of the product that I have ordered, it's probably a tie between Spy Master and High Lady, with Autumn Court being a very close second slash third. Just, they all smell fantastic, and I... I can't get enough of them. I literally cannot get enough of them. And one little thing that I didn't notice until I filmed my initial video was on the back of this little thank you card, there is actually a handwritten note, which is just so sweet. It's little things like this that just make getting a package so much more special in my opinion just the note was really sweet just the note was really sweet also i am so jealous of her handwriting i wish my handwriting looked that neat and pretty when i wrote instead of like chicken scratches and yeah i don't feel there is too much more i can add to this update other than i definitely plan on buying again from the seller in the future and I definitely plan on checking out some of the other fragrances and scents as well. And just overall, this was a fantastic experience. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this shop. So I am sorry that this update is so much shorter than I anticipated. I was also afraid of making this a little obnoxiously long. So yeah, any input people have on these types of videos, let me know. Do you want more like B-roll of the product? Do you want me to try to get more in depth? I'm on, I'm only afraid to get more in depth with like talking about things because I don't want to ramble or go on and on and on about the same thing. There's only so much I can say when it comes to like fragrances and just how much I love them. So yeah, any input anyone has, let me know. I am open for suggestions, both on how I do these videos as well as any potential shops that you want me to check out. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys next time.